You're listening to the Impact Implosion on the Angry Marks Podcast Network. November 30th, 2017, it is another episode of the Impact Implosion, or as you are all going to hear this, when it's uh, December of 2017. Yep. And as always, I am Seth Drake, and on the other end is the, is the turkey to my gravy, Mr. Mike Pollan. That's delicious. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, yes. We there's very little to talk about. Not I don't think either of us saw the impact. Where um, no, I didn't last see last week. I, I don't even take a tape from me last week. Uh, I didn't even see on demand uh, or watch it on demand. And apparently, a lot of people didn't, as it was the lowest watched impact of the year. It's Thanksgiving. Yeah, it's nothing. Lowest watched mm-hmm. one. Okay, we'll just tell you that uh, there was a match. Between there was a show that that they had a drawing for a turkey match. Uh, team one was Eddie Edwards, Ali, Richard Justice, Falaba, and Garza Jr. And team two was Chris Donis, Chocolate, Caleb Conley, KM, and Laurel Van S. What a couple of teams that is. And <coughs> Edwards rolled up uh, Adonis, so Adonis had to wear the turkey suit. Oh, messed up turkey. Yep. And on that note, any news for this week? Um, other than last week's show being the lowest rated show, not much, but let me check. Uh, Impact is going to return to Orlando for the next tapings. I saw that. Despite Uh, announcing that they are officially a Canadian company. Whoops. Apparently, that flamed out quick. Yep, that was false. And, <laughs> oh yeah, there's one more big news. Impact has given up the broken and gimmick fight. Yay! So, Ooh. and they've now said that all Impact Wrestling talent has the rights to their character and everything that goes with it. Lock, stock, and barrel. You should always make sure that's the case anyways. Well, not WWE does has the rights, and Impact tried to beat WWE. Unfortunately, they don't have the money. Sherry McDevitt wins them again. Yeah, they don't have the money to last a long fight, and well, they just lost. CFW, everybody. And also, there was a big C- CBS um argument with Dish Network. Um, so. CBS has pulled Pop from Dish Network. No! Yeah, so if you all have Dish Network, you cannot watch Pop TV or Impact. Sorry. Yep, actually, they ended, apparently, um, they ended that dispute. Uh, so Pop TV is back on Dish Network. Okay. I just got told that. They just ended that dispute recently. So, yes. It's over. You can all watch your impact now. It's over. Also, Alberto's Crappy Restaurant. We probably mentioned this on the Anchor Duckin', but yeah, it's closed. Mm. Yeah, it's a La, La Cantanita. He owns the restaurant in San Antonio. It's closed. Alberto also wants to retire pretty soon, from what I saw, from what I read recently. Ah, uh, he considering the way he looked tonight. I mean, it, uh, I mean, wearing a shirt to a wrestling mm-hmm. match, it's 
not going to come. It's coming soon. She needed yep. to. And speaking of that, on to the night show. And on to, yes, tonight's show. Tonight's show. Uh, they basically went backstage, talked about how there will be a new knockouts title tournament. And there will be two three ways to semifinals to decide the tournament. That's not a tournament. Two three ways to decide the tournament, and then after that, the two finals will um finals will face each other. It kind of is a tournament. It counts. Semifinals and finals I saw count. Some people online complaining that it's not really a tournament. I'm like, eh. it's 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 got brackets and all that. It's a tournament. It's a short tournament. It's a tournament. Eh, well, it'll get us through the next couple weeks of TV, at least. Yeah. And we also had a, uh, basically an out showing us graphics of all the matches we will have tonight, including the first Knockouts Championship Tournament match. James Storm facing Tejano. LAX will speak. Uh, Matt Seidel will battle Tyson Dukes. And, uh, Hakeem Zane takes on Ishimori, Taiji Ishimori. And, and El Patron versus Johnny Impact. Yep. So a lot of matches, but not like promos tonight. Oh yeah, and Madison Rain is back. For tonight. For tonight, uh, yeah. And they're not even hiding that she's Josh's wife anymore. They're not even trying to hide that fact. They're like, oh, she makes me dinner a few times. You know uh, her very well, Josh. <laughs> And he's like, yeah, I do. So, yeah, it's Lil Van S, Casey Spinelli, and Madison Rain in our first matches. And Lil Van S looks like a mess, drunken mess. Uh, she's got lipstick all over her face. She applied too much lipstick on. And uh, she came out with a jacket and glasses. Oh, and a bottle of wine. She's still drinking that That's stuff. Good. That's good. That's good. Always great. To see. And someone during the match had seemed to have trouble with the volume as it was going down at random times. Yep. So, basically, this match was just a match. Um, there was Casey delivered a nice electric chair spot onto from on Madison, uh, I mean, LVN hit and hit, landed on Madison. But Laurel Van S, uh, she tried to uh, reverse DDT, but Laurel reversed it and hit it on Prettier for the three count. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, Laurel Van S goes to the finals. Yep. Yep, and two weeks ago, Caleb Conley would be an idiot, cost his team the match. Yep. Sorry. Water. But Water. next up is uh Aishi, Taiji Aishimori versus Global Forge winner Hakeem Zane. And Ishimori wins. Yeah, although he and he does a pretty nice uh handspring in Siguri. I like Ishimori. Yeah. Shimori wins with a 450 splash. Congratulations, Zane, on winning Global Forge. Now you get to be a jobber. Yep. Although I'm pretty sure I've seen him on a few impacts like before the Global Forge. Yeah. But, I think he's yeah. been around a, while, a bit. Ah, oh, shit. Well, oh. uh, Squirrel Circle Sirens is reporting that Laurel Vaness has asked for her release. God damn it. <laughs> GFW, everybody. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, an, an even bigger release. <laughs> the, the boilers basically say she wins the title. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, well, sh- God like, damn being, it. I'm being, I'm being portrayed wrong. I want my way. Here's a title for you. Uh, uh, you won the title. Uh, now I want out. <laughs> God damn it! God. I just got that news a minute ago. I'm like, ah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> God 
Damn this company. GFW, everybody. GF uh, Impact, everybody. Not GFW anymore. Can't even call yeah. it that. They lost that. They never even got the right to that name. <coughs> oh, oh, Impact. Oh, yeah, God damn. It's the show. It's the land of confusion, people. Uh, next. Next. Hold on. Let me get. This was, so yeah, Ishimori wins with a 450 splash, and then Trevor Lee and Caleb Conley beat up Ishimori after the match. Uh, setting up that feud. Yep, then James Storm interview talking about facing Tejano tonight, and still wanting to go after Dan Lambert and American Top Team. More on that later. Yeah, more on that later. And a very so, long, or what seemed like a very long Alberto promo. Then the L... LAX Clubhouse. Kodan says they have a problem with Sally Callahan, and Homicide's like, you going to handle it? And Homs they ask Homicide to handle it. He says, sure. You know I'll handle it. They're going to take him out and get the tag titles back. Yep, that was basically all the talking segment that they hyped up. That's yep. it for them for the night. That was brief. And then we go to Defy Wrestling in Seattle which will be coming to, to the GWN soon. Uh, Sammy Callahan versus Randy Myers. This isn't a full match, and we only got clips. And I know this was not a full match, as somebody who was at the show talked about a moment. Let me see if I can get this up. That was in the match that was not shown. I hate... To, yeah. I Impact, everybody. Impact. Well, we can't show the full match. Sorry. <laughs> we can't show the full match of this crap, this company that nobody's heard of. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, Impact people. Sorry, fans. We can't show you the full match. And we can't show you... Okay, uh... Sammy pulls somebody out of a chair my seat to use the chair and hits Randy with my bag of street streamers. So yes, Sammy hit people with a bag of streamers. Uh, that wasn't shown at all. Because, you know, that would be too stupid to show. Yep. But that anyways, um, we go backstage to Alberto El Patron. Who calls Johnny a little kid and him a man? You ain't a man. You're a shit. Oh, <laughs> Le you're La Mierda. La Mierda. I'm going, came back to destroy it. What better way than kicking Johnny's ass? After the interview's over, they pan over to KM beating a couple dudes and asking, Is that is enough, ATT? Is this enough, American Top Team? Alrighty then. Is this enough? Be beating up some random people. Uh. Um. Well, you give us a few minutes. Uh, Tejano and James Storman in the ring, and then American Top Team shows up. Enter the building. Uh. KM tries to talk about how he beat up people backstage, and they're like, "Whatever. Go away. <laughs> we don't want you. Seriously, go away." So, the, basically, this match happened, and uh, the finish was Tejano grabbing his own cowboy hat, putting it on, and yelling cowboy to himself, to the fans, before James Storm hits a last call super kick and gets the win. And then Yay. American Top Team comes out to attack James Storm. Where's Moose? There he is, with a steel chair to chase American Top Team away. And then Dan Lambert cuts a promo about how this is a circus. You're all dogs. You're going to get fleas and stuff. There's a lot. Oh, you can right, right, right. fleas. Yeah, and fleas. And next week, it's going to be Moose and James Storm versus Lashley, I mean, Franklin, and their secret weapon, Him. Dan Lambert. Yay. Even Colby Covington and King Mo are like, oh, Fuck. <laughs> damn it. God damn it. 
then we get a Pluto TV rewind of a uh, Rhino going Kurt up Angle and Joe. No, no, no. This was the Pluto TV rewind. Uh, Kurt Angle Joe was later. But this was a Pluto rewind TV rewind spot where Rhino gored a bit through a wall. Oh yes, it can fell out two thousand five. Yeah. Or six or so whatever. So then we got what looked like an eighties style commercial on a VHS for Park Park and Park. And Joseph Park has a fellow guy cousin named Chandler Park who is e- Ethan Page. If you're all wondering. Oh boy. So yes. They basically talk about how they, we can get this guy and they talk about, then they, after the commercial almost over, they go to the driver and say, don't worry. We know it's, it was his fault. We saw everything. It's totally his fault. Then they could show a portion of a match from the GWN as Kurt Angle fought Samoa Joe and beat Samoa Joe for his first loss. With the ankle. Hey, these guys don't work here anymore. Yeah, neither of them work here anymore. It's time to go to the past of Genesis 2006. Boy, did we screw up that Samoa Joe guy. Yep. So then we got Johnny Impact interview. He admits his arm is not 100%, but he will still fight Lemurda later tonight in a grudge match, and he calls him a speed bump. Hmm. A big Mexican speed bump. Yep. <laughs> so then we go Eli Drake is ba- after a commercial break. We go to Eli Drake backstage and he says, yeah, I'm going to be watching the main event later. He makes it known he will be watching the main event closely. And he's got two pickets. He's got a punch and it's against both of them. Oh, and then uh, he oh, and Adonis. Paradise. Oh, yeah, and then he and Adonis walk by Jimmy Jacobs. Well, at least he's not awkwardly on commentary this week. Yeah, he's just awkwardly backstage walking around. Like, t- yeah, like, Jimmy uh, Jacobs, you think. No, like, he's just like awkward that, guy. Like that Tyson guy on WWE used to do. Tyson kid? No. What was... Was uh, was one of the guys on NXT? I forget. Oh, okay. The one, the one guy who got who basically got eliminated first. The oh. moron of the group, uh, who also got cut first. Okay. And he just had random backstage spots, which were supposed to, I guess, lead to something, but it led to nothing, and he got released shortly after. So, EC3 is that comp. On on get on commentary, and we're gonna get Matt Sydal versus Tyson Dukes, and he basically pisses on this match by saying it doesn't matter; it's not a big one. That's the whole thing with EC3 and Sydal is that Sydal can't <laughs> win the big one. Oh yeah, basically says, oh yeah, Sydal will totally win this match, but it's not a big one. It don't matter. This ma- this whole match doesn't matter. Very both guys. Yeah. So, Sido won. Pretty good match, even though it meant nothing. Uh, Sido won with the shooting star press. Then we got a video package of Lemire talking about how this company basically belongs to him. How it doesn't belong to, uh, doesn't belong to anyone else. And, uh, how Eli Drake is a, just a paper champion. And then we get announced that EC3 will defend the grand title against Matt Seidel next week. Yay. So it's main event time. As we get the grudge match between Johnny Impact and Alberto Lamirda. And is it coincidence, but Alberto has kept his shirt on this whole time. Not yep. a coincidence. This was a decent match. They, they did, there was a spot, I think, um, during the commercial break that, um, Johnny was set under some, uh, stairs and Eli Drake jumped on the stairs. No, no, it was set under the stairs. He wasn't on the stairs. He was under them. 
So yeah, he got pretty much squashed by Eli uh, by uh, Lamierta on the stairs. So yeah, that was fun. I'm sure that was fun. That must have hurt. Like, and yeah, he was bleeding at certain parts. Mm -hmm. So fun for the whole family for him. So, so yeah, he's ble bleeding at certain parts of his abs. He's got a bruise. Uh, some of his blood gets on Lamirda. Um, then we get a spot where um, Patron Knox is about. He's about to hit his. Imp I mean, impacts about to hit his impact elbow, but Patron pushes the ref in front of him. Ref goes down. Alberto kicks Johnny in the balls. Uh, Patron then. Revives the ref, hit a DDT, but Johnny kicks out. Alberto hangs Johnny in three of robes and untapes Johnny's shoulder, shoving the tape in his mouth for some reason. And then Eli Drake comes out and starts saying, Oh, hey, you want me? You want to beat him? Come on, beat him. Go beat him. So he just, but Patron, but El Mayor does first got a, hit the champ with a right arm and then hit him with the championship, but when he gets back in the ring, Impact knocks him all over, hits Starship Pain, and gets the win. So yeah, Lemirda lost. Whoops. Whoopsies. So, right after the match, Drake comes in, nails Lemirda with the title, and that's all for him for the night, and goes to attack Johnny. A Johnny fights him back a little bit, but Adonis comes in, and they're, and then they both beat up on Impact, and Petey Williams comes out, <sighs> and the vet hits a Canadian Destroyer on Eli Drake. They celebrate, and the show ends. Yep. This was actually, like I said, a good show. It wasn't great. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing great about it. So, yeah. That was that. Uh, do you have anything to sell? Nope. And I, I could mention that uh, let this week, over the weekend, I inducted uh, Gamma vs. Virus, and, which is on my site. And uh, my next induction will be Jack Frost 2. Ah. Oh, and there were, during the main event, there were dual chants. And I was like, he's fucking apologists for right. a piece of shit that was Lemire. And I was like, this is why we gave those apologists to Kurt Turducken. We didn't give it to yes. a specific wrestler. We gave it to the wrestling apologists out there. Yes. You all deserved it. And you continue to prove how garbage you are. Congratulations. So, yeah, did you, you said you had nothing to sell, right? I have nothing to sell. Okay, um, yeah, I, I completely lost my train of thought there. Um, with that said, Miley, we are heading to bed. Good night, everybody. <laughs>